What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Oh. <gasps> Gotta clean the camera lens off there a little bit. Gunner, say hi to everybody. What's going on, Gunner? Good to see you, man. We got a horse outside laying down, soaking in the sun rays. And if anybody can catch that horse outside reference, we will be friends for life. I gotta give a couple shout outs this morning. First to my boy Avion for getting us all hooked up with his Vikings jersey, as well as sending some hats for the boys. And of course, our good friend Lacey Blair for just outfitting the entire crew in her merch. And yes, this shirt is for our good buddy, Chris. If you remember on Instagram, uh, somebody made a meme a while back uh, comparing all like the truck women or asking who's your favorite of the truck women in, on Instagram and Chris was one of the women that they put on the pictures for some reason. I have no idea. It was hilarious. Lacey was cool enough to send Chris out this shirt. And hey, if Chris is going to be rocking the shirt, maybe I'll be rocking the hat today. Now today's video is going to focus heavily on Chris's truck, which I know is a favorite amongst a lot of you guys just because it's probably the most practical build on the channel. Although when he did take it to the desert, we did end up killing it. But there's just something about all the little subtle details. I mean, keeping everything black color matching the mirrors and then just tying into the little color of the bronze in the little grill the GMC logo just these little inserts like all the little details on this truck just turned out really really nice I mean of course even down to all well, the matching work for decal and the matching work for hitch cover and Chris is around here somewhere we should go find him you got that you got that yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, let me reintroduce you to Chris. You probably haven't seen this Chris in a while, dude. It's fresh, huh? We're the, we're the no more Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no more, no more Amish guy. No more. Jeez, we got a. Yeah, dude. Is it what? Is it tan? <laughs> no, it's not. Now, Chris, I'm glad we got you here, buddy, because I got a little something, something for you. You like surprises? No, I hate surprises. This surprise is a little collaboration. No, it's it's not the truck back. It's not the truck back. You can have that too as well though, if you'd like. We got you something, buddy. Where's your shirt? We got you something, buddy. <laughs> Sick. In honor of that one time they made that meme saying you were one of the the well, women in the, I remember, like, back the in, truck Instagram. I remember like back before SEMA, I like, messaged her. I was like, I was like, send me a shirt and I want to wear it on Ryan's channel. She's like, for sure. There's, well, now you got it. There's a shirt. <laughs> but we've made it over to the warehouse and uh, yeah, you can probably guess by the force still being in here that it is still an absolute mess and not put back together yet. Uh, me and Sergio were going to do it yesterday and then uh, we just got super sidetracked. So hopefully by today that thing is put back together. Chris is rinsing his truck off real quick. Not really sure why he's rinsing his truck off. It is a, actually the cleanest I have ever seen it. Sergio's over here playing some type of musical instrument. Jeez, we, we pulled somebody over, Sergio? Yeah. So, My counter. Right? <laughs> so on these new lights, or well, on the new vehicles, you can't really, like, how are you supposed to drill a hole into that booger right there and put any type of flashing LED? You have two risks. One, well, you don't have yes, a flat surface that you can put the, um, the light in. Also, you have a huge risk that there's a PCB with all the LEDs in there. Right. So if you drill through it and you hit that thing, you're going to messed up the whole light. Yeah, well this actually looks pretty rad strobing wise. So you're just yeah. using a, an external flasher? That's correct. LED flasher or regular light flasher. It can go up to five amps per output. So That's you have high. four outputs. All can be found at IEP-USA.com. All right. Our number is... Oh, let's see if he's got it. H that, well, H-2220. What's the part number to put my Ford back together? <laughs> That's called 1-800. <laughs> Get out of my shop. <laughs> Dang, look at all that water beating off. So that is the biggest benefit to ceramic coating is that the water just beads off like that. And honestly, to like even maximize that, you don't want to use a pressure washer on your final rinse. You actually just want like a slower, solider, solider, more solid water source. So if Chris actually took the end off that pressure washer, it would uh, it would beat up even more. So see how it beads up even more? When you have the pressure washer, it creates all these little like micro dots of water that even with ceramic coating they, they won't beat off as good but if you run just like your regular hose as your final rinse well, on your vehicle that I just did compared to all of them. yeah i mean if you take that over all of it it'll it'll take all of it off now one of the deficiencies on chris's truck and it's all the stock 1500s is the tiny tiny upper control arms that they got on these things that that's pretty small compare That's pretty small. I've never understood why they're this small. I mean, I'm sure strength wise, they've done enough testing, but it just looks so goofy with how little these things are. Well, we're about to change that today. We we're going to get our boy Chris. Well, Chris, Chris, look, you did like, this is the first time you've reached out to a company. Like, I'm, I'm, man, I'm all, all the time. I'm proud all of you, time. dude. I'm proud of you, man. Are you? 
Yeah. Thanks. We're rolling over to uh. Wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, that's not how it works. This is my truck. I drive. Right. I drive your truck. You want to see Ryan have an anxiety attack? I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Him. Hey, hey, hey. Why do you have to drive? Why do I have to drive? Why do you have to drive? There's many reasons, Christopher. Number one, I get extremely car sick when I don't drive. Oh, what, what, what was that, Chris? It's not loco. Oh, I'm loco? See. Si. Number two, anxiety, panic attacks, craziness. It's just not worth it. No, nothing anybody needs to see. You know what I'm saying? Ryan's a weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an understatement there, Chris. <laughs> so we're heading over to Dirt King, and uh, I don't know, like we had a whole video like set up to give like their whole shop tour and everything. Um, we don't know if that's gonna happen today because the stars didn't exactly align schedule wise on the day we were supposed to do it. But uh, hey, we'll film what we can film. Chris, I'm gonna guess this is it considering everybody's rocking very similar wheels to you on every vehicle over here. Yeah, no. All right, so again, I, I did not set up today's video. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. Gold wheels, gold wheels. Gold wheels, gold wheels. These wheels are pretty sick. I don't know what ultra extreme race wheels are, but those look pretty rad. Here you go, bro. Dustin. What's up, dude? Ryan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's get your response to your Instagram uh, message, and I was like, oh shit, you guys are actually here. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind the surprise showing up. No, no problem at all. So I'll kind of show you through. Did you get that email saying your parts are in? Yeah, that's okay. it. That's all in there. That's just trust yeah. okay. you guys are doing. Yeah. Yes, I'll sir. kind of show you guys through, I guess, and yeah, show you kind of like what goes on around here and so i'll kind of walk you through it's a little bit of a mess right now we're right in the middle of the remodel no worries but uh yeah a lot going on i can tell right now, the welding and kind of the main production is over here we're getting ready to expand all that over and uh this area. So after they weld the part it'll get deburred and uh prep for powder coat so how much, I mean, you guys have a full production line, right? Yeah, it just looks chaotic right now. But no, yes, no, I totally understand. A, <laughs> we have a system. We have yeah, a system. yeah, yeah. But what are, like, what are your capabilities of what you guys build? I know you have production stuff, but do you do custom stuff as well? or We do custom. We keep it mainly to where it's our production kits because that's like our bread and butter. That's what we do and that's what we're good at. Right. And so that's the normal flow through the shop. Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. That. Well, I'll show you. We have some custom stuff next door. Okay. And I'll show you kind of what we have going on there with the custom parts. Gotcha. Like all of our tube parts are done on this. This is a CNC tube cutter. This will do like our tubular control arms, our bed cages, all those parts. Gotcha. And then we do uh, prototypes here on our plasma. And then it gets pressed from the machine right there and it goes to the, uh, the custom bay. And nice. this is where we do all of our tube bending. Yeah, you guys are kind of like, kind of hidden over here. I mean, other than all the trucks no out front. No signs out front, nothing. I mean, we want to keep to ourselves and get trying to get our work done. So I hear you. Uh, and then you get clowns showing up in the middle of the day wanting to film. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are cranking out parts. Up here is where we have all the uh, inventory. Yes, yeah, so we got all of our inventory areas up here is where we do the uh, shipping and assembly. And then everything, the cool thing about what we do too is everything's all barcode scanned. So it really, uh, it eliminates the errors as far as Getting stuff in the door. Oh, dude, I've always wanted to see one of these in real life work. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a little expanding foam shit happen. Hot. Does it come out hot? Real yeah. hot. That's it. This is rad. I've never seen yeah, this machine. Yeah. Nice. Finally I kind of want to know, but I don't want to know how expensive that thing dude, was. They're pricey, man. And not only is the machine pricey, the uh, actually the foam itself is pretty pricey, but. What it cuts down on cost and to where a customer gets a good part every time is worth every bit of it. Right, right. Dude, this place is huge. Like, Thank you. Yeah, this is this rad. Is we do all of our, uh, all the fun stuff, all of our computer work. Nice. So then we got our, this is actually our first shop down here. Oh, no way. So this is like uh, where it all kind of started was down there. And then luckily it just kind of took to taking over the, the whole building little by little. So how long have you guys been in business? We've been in business a little over 10 years. Gotcha. And uh, just in the last few months, the expansion's been insane. Nice. So this is where we kind of, this is where the custom stuff's going to be, is this next uh, wall over. It's taking over the whole block. We, Dude, yeah, yeah, I would seriously <laughs> get lost in this place. We just, yeah, got this side. We had some fun, had some beers. And <laughs> there you go, yeah. Put some balls on the wall. It looks like our kind of party. Yeah. So this is all in our showroom over here. And this is where we're going to do all the custom builds. Now. Nice. Oh, Dude, this is huge too. That truck's rad. Who trucks that? This is a customer. This is one of our newest builds. It's a mean truck. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it's a mean truck. It's probably one of my favorite trucks. This is sick, dude. So it's got our ultra four link kit on it. Our long travel kit up front. 
It's uh, supercharged. Well, it's got a pro charger, methanol injection. Um, mean. Dude, that rear end is insane too. Yeah, this is uh, no expense spared. I can yeah, say. Yeah, he's, he's got a few dollars in this one. Because I know even those third one. brake lights end up being like eight hundred bucks just for a third yeah, brake light yeah, by the time you're done. So, oh yeah, this is the is this the bumper you were looking at? Yeah. Yeah. So that's our, uh, plate rear bumper. these bumpers look super sick, super streamlined. Let us know in the comment section if you guys think Chris should get that on his truck. I think he needs to take his truck to a next pre-runner level and like make it look more off-roady. We have what you need, man. We have what you need. This is the place, <laughs> dude. Hey. You're the guy to talk to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spend a hundred grand and you get your pictures taken in here too. <laughs> he did all the custom anodizing and colors. So it's all black uh, Cerakote bodies, uh, the gold anodized. So you guys did this whole build, right? The whole thing, yeah. And then Linux San Diego did all the uh, Linux on it. Yeah. Everything's all pristine. Dude, that's insane. See like all of our custom hard lines and stuff that go through there. Wow. All super clean and. I was just gonna say it's insanely clean. And what's cool too is like not many people like the Panhard bars because what it does is it it kicks the axle side to side, but you see at ride height it's perfectly level level. So all you get is about three eighths of an inch kick at full bump and three eighths at full droop. What we did that no one else did, and there's actually a few of the companies that are doing it now though, but we were the first ones to do is make a uh, boxed upper link and to have a parallel four leak system with a box upper link and be able to keep the factory gas tank in a pretty much a whole kit link kit up, you know, set up. And uh, super fast install, good travel, good daily driver. And- uh, I mean, it looks slick and then it doesn't look yeah. like there's too much going on. I mean, it's no, just, it's super clean. All yeah, tucked yeah, yeah. up and then you still have it all hidden underneath the, our panels. Gosh, so clean. We do so many packages to where you know, if you have a budget, we can work with you on you know what it is that you want to do with your truck there's so many different options to yeah, go about yeah, yeah. stuff but if you want to go you know next level this is it and then up front is uh pretty much matching the rear as far as coilovers bypasses the gold anodized black zero coat nice that's insane i mean obviously my dream build at one point in my life is a luxury free runner you know i don't know if we're quite there in the yeah, in the you know the budget range but we'll stop buying obs's and you know <laughs> <laughs> but i love obs's <laughs> Like, uh, this is a factory bumper shell uh -huh. that we took. We welded these guys on here to kind of I love with, that. The, uh, with the fender, so it's super clean right through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this has our wheel wells too. So, we did on these guys, we have our uh, oversized wheel wells. So, we make this whole structure up in here. Okay. And so, what this does is allows for the more up travel with our long travel kit and 37 inch tires. Gotcha. Dude, that is sick. Yeah, it's a nice part to be hitting under the fender. It's stuff like this that I love too, that because I like stuff that looks factory-ish. Uh huh. Yeah, but clean like on steroids, you know. Yep. So seeing that, I mean, Chris, can we cut your front bumper too? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Both of our trucks done. My truck and your truck. Mine's not a fifteen hundred. Do you guys do anything for the twenty five hundreds? Not yet. No, we're getting to that market. We're just trying to finish out the half ton market first. Gotcha. All right. Well, when you need to build a twenty five hundred long travel kit, you yeah, know, yeah. call me up. <laughs> we know how to go. <laughs> the rear is right, uh, like a little bit over twenty and the front is right under 13. Nice. So the rear is outperforming the front for sure, but uh, this guy might be going to the race kit next. So we have a race kit for up front that's 18 inches of travel. So to get the full length of travel, you're just eliminating that four-wheel drive, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Gotcha. Definitely over 90 days now, which sucks, but All right. uh, with the whole COVID thing and everything, it really just puts us off. And not only that, we had just like a tornado stuff we had you know covid happened then we had the whole expansion which kind of came out of nowhere right and on top of that we were just busier than we ever been yeah yeah yeah. so with all that kind of put a stop to 90 day rado but we're happy with where it's at now we're just hoping to kind of get some more free time and dang i mean you guys got a ton of space out here yeah yeah we're very fortunate to be able to neighbor <laughs> <laughs> yeah we outgrew our warehouse already this is our shop brand it's kind of just collecting dust over here Gotcha. Oh, you guys do the same bumper on this one? Yeah, yeah. This is our so you make these for all the big yeah, makes? Yeah, for a majority of the newer model trucks we make them. Okay. And this is our, our 98 auto build. Oh, nice. So it's just like a fun after hours deal. And it's cool because we built this whole thing with our products and uh, in a shed with minimal hand tools, you know? Like that's what we're all And about. no air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> air conditioning. It's a little warm in here. Yeah, so it's kind of cool just to kind of you know, uh, well, that's what I like though, because then, I mean, obviously you guys got a full shop, CNCs, all that stuff, like, but to come out here and demo your products on what most people's shops would have. This is where it, like, this is where it all started. Minimal tools, small space, you yeah. know, you're barely squeezing by the truck and it's like, it brings you back to where it all started. That's rad. And that truck that you actually saw over there, this is the same rear suspension that it has. This just has the cage tie-ins, but what you saw over there is is this setup. If they were to go on your website, obviously this is something that would have to get built here, right? Yeah. This you guys is don't sell any weld on stuff, do you? Or do you, some uh, of your stuff? It's, 
it's not a whole lot, but this okay. is we offer this stuff as a product, but it's not something that's you know available on the website. Gotcha. I did over here on the phone that uh, you guys are pretty booked out. Like <laughs> yeah, like also, I think October right now. That's so. I mean good problem to have. Congratulations yeah, to you guys. That's yeah, for sure. It gets stressful. Also, oh, you guys did a whole cab off, cut the cab to weld the top of the cage. Exactly. Yeah, to get the to weld everything, you know, 360. We chopped it right here, pulled the whole lid off, and then uh, got up in there and welded every tube. That's awesome. Yeah, I would so love hour, something. Least, this is a cat eye. What year is this thing? This is an 05. Gotcha. And it's cool because we picked up the truck for, I think we paid like 3,500 bucks for it. You're not using a whole lot of the truck at that point. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we tried to keep it to where we're not, we kept the frame behind it. We kept the front of the frame. The whole purpose for this build is how far can you take a factory truck before you just need to do a tube chassis. Gotcha. And this is it. So you don't want to go much further than this because after that, you're just going backwards and you start with tube chassis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're using the factory dash, you know, factory motor mounts, a factory motor can go back in here, factory front core support, um, the factory frame. We cut the coil buckets and all that stuff, obviously, but mm -hmm. the main structure of the vehicle is still here. Um, versus you know people that start with the truck and they end up with just the four foot section of frame right and you're like dude just do a tube chassis so what do you guys do in factory frame wise to strengthen it to handle what you're going to be throwing at it so I mean. what we do is we have this tube structure we box in the notch for the additional up travel right. and then we have the you know the tubes to plate it back here and then we'll have a few more uh tubes for lacing to help gotcha. hold it chris they want you to ride in this while they're i'll be down <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm a horrible passenger so we'll have to continue this. <laughs> No, nah, we would love to, uh, definitely love to come back and check this thing out once you guys get it done. Well, thank you. This is the original toolbox way back when I worked on the parents' garage. Nice, so, dude. That's toolbox, rad. Basic tools, basic welder. It's rad. I'm telling you, one of our big things on the channel is like, if you've got an idea, you have to go all in on it because we all have a million ideas, but nobody's willing to take the jump to where you're at. I mean, yeah. you started in a small portion of this and then yep. you slowly grow on, but like to commit to that first jump. I mean, obviously you said out of your parents' garage, right? Is yeah, yep. Me and my brother and my best friend on my parents' uh, side yard. That's crazy. Moved up to the garage and from the garage got a got a shop after the neighbors kept calling the cops. <laughs> so, yeah, from there it's, you know. That's rad. Fun. For the longest time we had just this this small spot right here. Right. So we're like, dude, we're out of space. So we built that mezzanine. We're out of space, built another mezzanine. Out of space, built a building. Got a container. It's like... Yeah, we made it work however we could, and we just got super lucky to be able to get the whole building as our plan the whole time. Yeah, Finally, yeah. just kind of came together. In total, I think we're right around 18,000. I would say 20,000. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody hit up Dirt King. They got 20,000 square foot to pay for. Let's go, let's get some orders going. Lee, I know you guys make long travel, mid travel. Like what's the range of products that you guys offer for vehicles? It ranges anywhere from a simple lift to long travel. And uh, we'll do simple installations to full custom builds like you saw in another building. This, uh, when we built the, we did the suspension for Ram for the TRX truck. Right. And we built this right afterwards. And when it came up for sale from the customer, um, we had to buy it. And so we went through it all advanced to the TRX replica glass. And it's kind of cool to be able to have, you know, something so close to the original concept truck. Right, right. Yeah, no, this truck's cool. I mean, every vehicle you guys got over here, like clearly this one, I don't want to say this one's forgotten about, but it looks like it was like tossed in the back, yeah, but that thing's got so much rad stuff on it. Pulling parts off for R and D and Gotcha. Yeah, it's been neglected, but we'll be cleaning it up here soon. It's a it's a bitchin' truck, supercharged. Oh, we're gonna open up such a beautiful packaging job. Yeah, I know, right? My so these are brand new, these haven't even uh, they've been out for a little bit of time, but not long at all. This is our new ball joint upper control arm line. All right. It's nice because they're uh, they're very affordable, low maintenance, and uh, they're a good all around control arm. So these are going to be what's going on Chris's truck to replace the like pathetically small factory upper control arm. Hey, I know the guy that uh, does that. Oh, we know the packaging works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those boogers are packaged nice. Yes, these are them. The move ball joint, heavy duty move the ball joint in here. Super simple to install. Stellar bushings and uh, Kamala construction. So obviously benefits being the ball joint, the strength of it. Yep, you, what it gets is uh, it gives you additional caster and then you get additional down travel for when you put the longer shocks in. And then what's the price point on these? So these are 549 for the pair. Okay, that's not bad at all. So I, mean, I didn't even notice this giant rack right here, here of finished products yeah. ready to get packaged up. That's crazy. I mean, if you could you estimate like how many kits you're shipping out a day or do you even know? Right now, I think we have a total of uh, just over, I think, 100 orders that are open. So Jeez. we're shipping out quite a few a day because we're trying to keep our lead times, you know, below two weeks right, right. now with how busy we are. Normally, it's one to two days. Wow. So with everything going on, it's been... Uh, that's impressive. So to a company, uh, Chris's Control Arms, we're going with the alignment cams you guys got. Yeah, and these are really important because uh, 
when you are doing anything to your suspension, what happens is it puts more leverage on the factory cams, and uh, it's not uncommon whatsoever for those to get knocked out of alignment. Gotcha. And you're, you're going to the alignment shop every other month. So what we did is we make these uh, alignment cams and they lock in place by not having the oval. It's uh, preset for each hole. Now does it come with hardware because it requires something longer than the factory bolts well, or? The, the factory ones, they have like a, a groove in them like that. So ours are just circular. So the way the factory ones work is they have this slot and ours are preset to where they have uh, you know these holes. So once you set the alignment, you're not gonna be knocked out of alignment. You're gonna be bend something before you have to get another alignment. They're available for pretty much all the main GM trucks, the uh, 99 to 18 Silverado 1500, Sierra 1500, and the majority of the uh, diesel trucks as well. Oh, okay. So something for your truck. We have one product. Awesome, there you go. <laughs> what, uh, what's the price point on these? These are $68, so super cheap. And for that whole kit? Yeah, $68 for wow. the whole kit, yep. All right, that is impressive. Now when you throw that bumper, that bumper on, are you using uh, you sell uh, an aftermarket uh, pitch hey, receiver. Yeah, exactly. So that is uh, basically okay. a, yeah, a, a very tight uh, clearance to the uh, tailgate and the fenders. So if you have the factory hitch, it's just hanging way down below. So we have a, a high clearance hitch to pair with it. That looks rad. I like that. Yeah. One of the things I like what you guys do is like it's not, I mean, obviously the performance side of things, but that fit and finish is yeah. something that some other companies are lacking, but it seems like you guys really put that effort in. Yep, yeah, that, and we just kind of want to have an answer for everything. So just like our, our long trail kit, we're having an issue of people hitting the wheel wheels. So that's when we started developing that oversized wheel wheels. Yeah, gotcha. And uh, we just kind of want to have a solution, you know, for these problems that people have. And, and that's where we end up with our product line. So we're going to head back to the shop. Well, we had to make a little, little pit stop, stock up on some more snacks. Can, can this candy, truck handle that much weight? Over at the wholesale candy warehouse. Chris, what happened to your job, dude? Go, go do your oh, job. Fuck. There you go. Yeah, Brian's gonna take the uh, car. We're just gonna drive like that. Oh, are we gonna trailer. take the whole car? We should. Yeah. We're gonna take the car. There we go. There's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna end up charging me for this sign, Chris. By the time you're done with this. There you go. All right. All right. Flip it. Flip what do you want? What do you want? Uh, up in what the air. Trick? What trick do you want? Up in the air to guitar. Up. There you go. Chris finally got to do his dream job. Yeah, nice. Chris needs to get her number, dude. All right, Candy. Candy wasn't enough. We're making a stop at the uh, the ice cream my, wholesalers. It just caught my eye. Well, I've never. I've always wanted to stop in here. I never oh, have. Oh shit! It said open to the public. Why not? Ice what? cream, cash and carry. No, he just didn't want to fucking make some money. <laughs> All right, we struck out at the ice cream place. Go check out what this place is selling. It's pretty elaborate here. Well, we're finally back to the shop and getting the OBS all put back together here. Thanks to the help of Sergio. You're the best, buddy. Uh -huh. I'm sorry that Wes was giving you crap for wearing shorts on casual Friday. So we're going to get this thing all put back together, hopefully, mostly. Uh, we do need to get it all the way because we got to get it out of the way to get Chris's upper control arms put on tonight. Well, I got to say, guys, I did not think this thing would ever be back together. Huge shout out and thank you to Sergio for staying with me late and getting this thing put back together. I mean, it's like 95% right now. We do have a couple of issues that uh, we got some parts from CP Attic coming to uh, fix all this because like I said, when you tear these things apart, you just break so many plastic clips on these old trucks. Everything's just brittle. So luckily CP Attic uh, makes a lot of replacement parts for common issued breakages. We got some uh, father-son bonding going outside with Wes and Rich rotating uh, daddy's tires here on his truck. Look at that, you're, you're raising them right, Wes. You're raising them right, teaching them to use hand tools. Great job, Rich. Thank you, thank you. What's it like growing up, yeah, you know, having your dad? A lot of people don't have their dad. I mean, he can be an asshole sometimes, but you know. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. That's, that's an we had to revoke his power tool usage because uh, right. I, I tried to make it easy on him well, to tighten all his shit down on his lift. And then I find a bunch of bolts loose and missing on his truck today because they didn't go over and check everything. So that was, now he's see what I'm saying? See, he, his father's supposed to check that. He didn't whoa, do it. Whoa, you know, he, he's trying, he's Supposed trying to, to make sure some responsibility. You got Brian that comes through and cleans all your stuff for you? Well, he just leaves shit dirty, I mean. There you go, nice guy, dude. I mean, no. my truck too, it's pretty fun. No. What's Chris doing? Supervising, somebody's gotta supervise. Got hey Chris, how's it look? What's all right? Well, thankfully the OBS is out of the shop. We've got Chris's truck in here. Zach's about to put it on the lift to get his new upper control arms installed. Rich, I'm seeing over here running some power cord. I wonder what's going on with Rich. He's supposed to be washing his dad's truck right now. God damn, dude, can I ever get anything done for me? Jeez. Rich, what, what's happening, buddy? No, I moved What's it. happening, Rich? Uh, you know, um, we have a problem. We need to solder some headlights. We gotta solder some headlights. I thought you just got these headlights. Play. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, well, when the plug breaks off, they're not so plug and play. Uh, yeah. What happened, Rich? That wasn't my fault. Um, the person. Hey, who built your headlights? You know, Rich, back in my day, me and Zach had a lot of soldering adventures together. Really? Yeah. Then why did I even ask him if he knew how to solder? 
I, that that was a dumb question. You should not have asked him that. Yeah, I, I messed up. Now I know. Well, but. good, because then he, he he probably won't feel so bad when he burns your fingers for trying to hold those little wires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is horrible. Well, normally yeah, you're gonna be holding them together as I. Oh, you put them through here though. Chris, you're, you're part of the install, dude. Are you nervous? Yeah, I am. I don't want to it up. All you gotta do is splooge that on there. Yeah, but what if I put too much? What are we talking about? These fucking zone BDS fucking lift, they call it like a six and a half, but it's really only a four and a half inch drop. Yeah, because you can go two and a half inch. Yeah, you can go two and a half over. Like a, it's like a leveling kit on a stock truck, but they call this a six and a half. Everybody thinks zone and BDS is like full, true, true, like true to the what they say, but it ain't true. You're doing real good. You're doing real good. Right around the ring. Right around. Yep, Same just like that. Slow mo. Slow mo. That's why I'm the fucking top four. Oh, right. So Zach's already got the passenger side done here. Look at that upgrade. This looks so much beefier. Currently working on the driver's side right now. Hold on, let me just knock this jack out the way here, buddy. Yeah, don't do that. All right, I won't do that. Looking great. How's the kid install going? Dude, chemical warfare, really? Did I fart again? Or did I just bring it with me? My bad, dude. <laughs> I think just, My bad. You're just moving it around yeah. at this point. You got to give credit right there. Dirt King even includes a little bracket right there for your zip tie. Look at that. That's quality. Like, that's welded on. That, that took some time. All right, buddy, you're done. Get her on out of here, Christopher. The new upper control arms look great. Dirt King killed it. Don't hit nothing. Your wheels are not straight, Christopher. All right, guys. Well, with that, I think we're going to wrap up this video. I got to move all kinds of trucks around. The good thing is I'm going to be back to daily driving the crew cab. And, man, if I miss that thing, because... As much as the single cab is cool, uh, it rides really rough. We actually might, by the next video, take the single cab off and do some off-roading. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do the subscribe button now that you know us out any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForWordApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.